Welcome everybody to the September TDL Member Forum. I'm Christy Park. I'm the Executive Director of the Texas Digital Library. And we'll start as we normally do by acknowledging the physical places from which we are joining, all located on the indigenous lands of Turtle Island, the ancestral name for what is now called North America. Our staff at TDL work fully remotely and we all join from various places around the country. I'm joining from Austin, where the Tonkawa were among the traditional stewards of the land before their forcible removal. And I invite you to share your own land, land acknowledgements in chat if you would like to. We'll follow our usual agenda. Um, and I'm joined by our outreach coordinator, Kira Hunt, in providing updates today. Um, and we have several other TDL staff in attendance. Um, thank you to Megan Hernandez for being our slide manager for the forum today as well. As I know is the case for all of you, September's been a really busy month for TDL. I got back just yesterday from the Texas Council of Academic Libraries Conference, which was held this year in Conroe, Texas. Um, TCAL is a TLA-sponsored group of deans and directors of all the academic libraries in the state who come together annually for discussions and presentations. And TDL is invited every year to give an update on our work alongside the State Library and some other um, statewide backbone organizations. So I was very pleased to be able to attend that meeting this, this week. Um, our Deputy Director Courtney Muma is not here um, for the forum because she is currently attending the International Conference on Digital Preservation, or IPRES for short. She has served as a co-chair for that conference this year and is attending virtually, so she can't be here with us today in the forum. And you'll be hearing about several other events coming up later this month that TDL has been helping to organize and, and will be represented at, and um, we hope to see you all there as well. Okay. Um, my other quick update is um, a welcome to Anche Disawal, who is our new graduate research assistant joining us this fall to help us manage help desk requests. Um, Anch isn't here, I don't think, to this morning in the forum, but you'll be meeting him and hearing from him if you're sending in help desk tickets. Um, he is a first year student in UT's library and information school um, specializing in UX design. And we're just thrilled to bring him on board and get him up to speed. Um, he'll be a really important member of our staff this fall and, and hopefully going forward. All right, so next we'll move into our services and projects updates, starting with digital repositories. Um, uh, I wanted to note that, first of all, that Next week is the DSpace North America Users Group meeting held in Minneapolis at the University of Minnesota. Um, as you know, we've had a we've had a couple of TDL folks, Nick Woodward um, from the TDL staff, and also Emily Johnson from UT uh, San Antonio, who's our current DSpace Users Group chair, serving on the planning committee for that event, and they will be attending it um, next week, along with, I, I believe, some others from the TDL community who will be presenting and participating in that meeting. Really excited about the opportunities there to get connected with other DSpace users around the country and around North America. Um, we also, I also wanted to share a little bit um, about plans for DSpace upgrades. We've made some adjustments to that upgrade schedule, primarily because there's not a, a, an updated version of eight, version eight yet for us to upgrade to. And so we're we're, we've adjusted our schedule to plan for upgrading our hosted repositories to 7.6.2, which is the latest version of 7 this fall. We'll be sharing more details about that schedule of upgrades in the next uh, couple of weeks. 
and we'll be talking about it more at the DSpace users group meeting on Monday. Um, so if you're interested in DSpace and hearing about DSpace upgrades, be sure to attend that. Um, it will be more lightly attended on Monday because of the D the North American DSpace users group meeting, but um, we'll still go ahead and and hold that meeting and and talk a little bit about DSpace upgrades and other business. All right. Um, next up, I'm filling in for uh, for Courtney to talk about Vireo hosting and digital preservation. And so I want to remind everybody that the annual Vireo users group meeting is happening on October 7th, coming up soon. Um, TDL and the Vireo users group steering committee and our product manager, Christopher Starcher, will use that meeting to update the community on Vireo open source activities over the past year. Members of the VUG steering committee will be in attendance to hear about your Vireo experiences and your wish list items. So please plan to attend this. It's free and virtual. Uh, you will need to register and we'll put the link for, for doing that in chat. So we hope to see you there on October 7th. Next up, digital preservation. So TDL's uh, senior developer, Nicholas Woodward, recently upgraded all TDL Digital Preservation Services members DuraCloud at TDL instances. And the highlights from this new release include bug fixes and improved functionality in the user interface and in the snapshot process, as well as upgraded dependencies in the core DuraCloud application and numerous performance and security improvements across the entire application. Um, additionally, Nick, emailed all of your local service leads with instructions to upgrade your local sync tool so that it aligns with the new version. Please let us know if you have any issues with the, the instance or any local upgrades via the help desk at support at tdl.org. And I think uh, that is gonna be it for services updates for today. We will have some more updates about um, OER services and OJS um, next month, um, but um, are skipping those for today um, since we don't have a, a lot to update you on there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Kiara now to um, continue with our community updates. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm excited to share our community updates with you all. We have a lot, so mark your calendars. Um, first up, we have a reminder to register for Open Texas 2024. We're excited to host the third Open Texas Conference with the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board, or the CV. Um, the event will be taking place September 25th through 27th, and the conference will be held fully online and it is free to attend. The full schedule is now available and we have some feature sessions also posted online for you all to see. And I will share the links or Christy will share the links uh, for you all to register and see more about the full sessions. Next slide. Speaking of the CV, um, the Division of Digital Learning for their AI Empower webinar series are taking place. The AI Empower is a free virtual series of webinars open to all interested individuals that will demonstrate successful strategies for leveraging AI effectively and responsibly. The next session um, titled Navigating the AI Frontier, Cultivating Responsible and Ethical AI Practices will take place on Wednesday, October 9th from 3 to 4 p.m. And we'll share those details in the chat so you can learn more and register. Next slide. Next, we have the full program for the 2024 virtual DLF form is now available. The virtual conference takes place October 22nd or 23rd, including featured speaker Andrea Jackson Gavin, who is the program director for the, C the HBCU Digital Library Trust. Um, you can register today to hear from folks who work directly with digital collections, project management, open infrastructures, and so much more. And we'll share those details with you in the chat. Next slide. This year's Open Texas Symposium will be held on October 25th, 2024 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. via Zoom. 
Um, this event is hosted by the University of North Texas Libraries and the Texas State University Libraries. And the theme of this year's symposium is Open About Open. And we'll share those details with you in the chat so you can learn more. All right. Um, the next event is the 2024 STEM Library and South Conference. The 14th annual meeting will offer excellent learning opportunities for professionals at all levels of STEM librarianship. And this year's theme is Share, Teach, Explore, and Make. And you can hear more about or learn more about this um, event in the chat. Okay, so more of our TDL meetings and events. Um, we have all of the events posted on our website and we'll share that link in the chat with you all, but I'll go through what's happening um, the rest of September and uh, what's gonna be happening in October. So on Monday, September 23rd at 3 p.m., we have the DSpace user group meeting. On Friday, September 27th at 2 p.m., we have the GIS interest group meeting. On Thursday, October 3rd at 10 a.m., we have the OJS user group meeting. And on Tuesday, October 8th at 3 p.m., we have the OER users group meeting. And on Thursday, October 10th at 10 a.m., we have the imaging group around to it meeting. So we'll share all of those meetings um, with you all in the chat. And we'll also include the October what's happening as well. Okay, so you can check out the latest TDL updates and announcements for upcoming meetings, our events, any programs or services happening on our social media channels, and in our bi-monthly newsletter, email, and listservs. We'll share the link to our Get Involved page in the chat where you can connect with TDL. And on the next slide, if you all want to contribute to our newsletter or announce any upcoming projects or um, events happening, um, feel free to email us at info at tdl.org with your ideals. That way we can feature you all in our newsletter. And that's all for community updates. Uh, if you have any questions, please email us at info at tdl.org and I'll hand things back over to Christy. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Kira. <clears throat> we do have some time for questions if you have them. And uh, while you're um, thinking of questions, I'll remind everybody that if you have um, a suggestion for TDL or a question you'd like to ask anonymously, you can use the form um, linked here. We'll put that link into chat as well. Um, we'd love to hear from you that way or right now if you have a question or, or want to um, put something in chat. All right, I'm not seeing anybody typing and so we'll just go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you everyone for your time today. It's really good to see all of you um, and we'll be looking forward to seeing your faces and having you present um, at the many events coming up in the next few weeks. So uh, holler at us if you need us, you know how to find us and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, thanks everybody, take care. <laughs>